Good morning, everyone. It's Kathy here at Carolina Party Artist. Hope you guys are having a good Friday morning. Just thought I'd pop on here for a minute and let you know what's been going on around here. It's been kind of a busy week. I haven't done too much painting on canvas, but I have been working on a couple of other projects. One of them I'm going to give you a little tour of. It's an altered book. That's right. This is a book from the thrift store. When I first bought it, it looked a lot like this one. Just an old book with a hardback cover. If you can find one with the fabric or canvas type of cover, it works the best. The first step is you take some Mod Podge and you glue all the pages together. That's right, glue the pages together. Make sure this is not a book that you treasure. Make sure this is a book you're finished with. You're gonna open the book and you're gonna put Mod Podge all around the outside, several layers of it. Once that's completely dry, then the hard work begins. You're gonna use a very sharp X-Acto knife with probably a brand new blade, and you are going to cut the middle of the book out. Yes, I said cut the book. You're kind of like gonna uh, dig a hole. You use a ruler to mark it, and then just do a few layers of pages at a time until you have a well inside of your book. That makes kind of like a secret hiding place or a little treasure chest, and then the fun begins decorating it. Well, those of you that know me know I can't just do one thing. I have to do several. The one I've done has been decorated with paint, painted roses, um, some mixed media papers, a butterfly. Um, I painted it first, of course. And then on the inside, I have decorated. Can you see the little hole right here? all decorated up and then that wasn't enough for me i wanted to go ahead and create a little mini junk journal in the front so i added some junk journaling there are some pockets here with taggies those of you that do junk journaling and know you can write all kinds of stuff on them you can add pictures to them several junk journal projects ago i learned about this here's another pocket with lots of tags on this page isn't that pretty? Just a little place to write right up under here. And then this one, I love this print. Let's see if I could read it for you because I think it's backwards. The flowers don't dream of the bee, it blossoms and the bee comes. And we created that into a small journal, several pages. Okay, and those are attached there. The strings hanging down are just how this little, um, portion of the book is attached. Turn the next page and we have a really big what we call waterfall and that's just the name of the the way that these pages are attached creating many layers to add photos, add notes, add poetry, uh, however you like to journal. Inside of course is a place to store whatever you'd like and of course that wasn't enough for me. I decided I wanted to make a little mini journal to go with it. I had gotten some of these really cute little notebooks and they're just brown craft paper on the outside. So I did a little designing on the front. You can see the shine of the Mod Podge there. Inside are just lots of blank pages to write on. And like I said, it used to just look like this. I haven't quite decided if I'm gonna go ahead and decorate the inside or not, but there it is. Sorry about the glare there. And I just attached a string with a little key. And I'm going to pop that right down inside of the big book. There you have it. One altered book ready to go. Ah, just a couple other projects I've done. I'm not going to go through all the pages. This is a junk journal made from a rather thick book where we took out all the pages instead of just cutting them and then made what's called signatures. Signatures are groups of pages that are tied in into, uh, separately. Lots and lots of fun inspirations, pockets and taggies and fold outs. This is just really a fun project. It's something you don't do all at once. You can take your time. One more to show you. This one you might have seen some pictures of. This is made with an old cookbook from the thrift store. Uh, got some little feather buttons on the front. Those are super fun. 
There's a taggy falling out in the front. There's even a pocket on the front. Pockets are kind of what junk journaling is about, making little pockets and fun places. I'm gonna turn this camera down so you can see it a little bit better. Here we go. There we go. I think I've got it. Here we go. Yeah, over here we've got lots of pockets with tags and you can use all kinds of materials. Um, I had a pack of old doilies, so just wrote the, the name Believe, a little bit of my Zen doodling. There's a place on the back you could write some more. Lots and lots of pockets. This is one of my favorite uh, pages. It actually folds out on both ends. Let's see if we can catch this. This one folds out and then it folds out again. And both sides do that. Woo, way over here. Makes for a lot of space to journal, to record whatever it is you'd like. Uh, sometimes I'll put scripture verses or song lyrics into the pages. Lots of pockets, lots of taggies, lots of places to record whatever it is you choose to record. Alrighty, this is a great project when you have a lot of time at home and not a lot of money. This is called junk journaling because it is literally made with junk you might already have. Most of these pages start with... Um, a piece of cardstock or a piece of thin cardboard from like a cereal box or a macaroni and cheese box or whatever you have on hand. Most of the pages are either printed out or they're other forms of um, scrapbooking paper, old book pages. Um, there's just a whole lot available. If you go online, you can find lots and lots of things. I had purchased a journaling notebook that was really colorful one time, and I didn't like, it had too much designs on it, so I took a lot of the pages apart and used them to make some of the pockets in this journal. Anyway, like I said, you can make fold outs. Here's another one that folds out pretty far. And I don't know if you can see all of that. It goes way over there, makes lots and lots of pages. The pages are not all the same size. Sometimes the pages are taller than others, like this. This is a short page, tall page. The nice thing is there's really no rules in junk journaling. You use what you have. Um, there's a sheet of vellum, which is really pretty to put something under. Not sure what it'll be, a photograph or something, but it'll show through, but in a kind of a muted effect. You can also put um, lyrics or you can write on the vellum or write under it. Let's see, something else interesting for you to see. Some of the pages are blank, either couldn't figure out what to do on that page or just kind of waiting for, uh, to be inspired by it. Lots and lots of pockets here, lots of little tags. If you have paper punches, sometimes you can use those. If you have stickers, I have a set of wooden buttons. These are the cutest little buttons. Look at these little bunnies. They're little wooden buttons. I don't know that they'd work real well as a real button, but they're super fun to decorate with. All right, and this thing just goes on and on and on, lots and lots of pages. This was fun because it's made with an old cookbook. It is like a three ring binder, so you can take the pages out to work on them and put in as many pages as you want. This one has pockets going down the side. Lots and lots of pockets, lots and lots of fun. Well, I hope that inspires you to maybe try a junk journal of your own. If you have any questions, feel free to put it in the comments. If you've ever done a junk journal, I'd love to see a little tour of yours. And in the meantime, have a great day. By the way, our art kits to go are still available. Just go on our Facebook page and you'll see all the designs that are available. If you have a special request for your group, for your company, for your family, just let me know. And online and virtual paint parties coming up. We have some awesome wood project products that are coming in. We're waiting for them to be delivered. And when they come in, we'll be getting started on some of our fall designs. I'm sure you guys are going to love them. Take care and I will see you later. Bye-bye guys.